Hey everybody, working on the house siding today. The off-grid tiny house siding. Uh, got some friends over that uh, prefer to remain unknown. And they are uh, over with one generator and a saw, cutting pallets into pieces for me and carrying them over into a pile. And then I have two rows done. But I have to cut and shape under the window to fit properly. But besides that, I've got two rows done here. Uh, and it's looking really good, I think. It's very, very tedious work. It takes a long time, but I think it's beautiful and very much worth the effort in the end. So I am going to carry on with this. And it is also quite unique. And I don't know of many tiny house, uh, off-grid tiny homes on wheels that have this uh, type of siding. And it's another reason I'm sticking with it. So, uh, not a lot of video today, just getting it done. Trying to knock it out, uh, especially with our guest remaining anonymous. But uh, I'm happy to have the help. So, anyway, there's Chris there, by the way. Hi, Chris. Um, Chris is on uh, other tasks, but we're all busy and we're all really knocking out some work today at the off grid homestead. Well, moving right along. I really think it's going to be beautiful. I'm working this side of the window to the top and then I'll come across, I'll figure this out over here, this little bit. I think I'll just chunk that in after I finish this side. I'll chunk in that little bit to the top and then I'll keep on going. Uh, I don't know how much we're going to get done in a day. You can see the, the new line here that I've done, but it takes time. It is a tedious process, but it's absolutely beautiful. So, let's see what we can do. What's Melanie doing here? Pumpkin scone with cranberries. Pumpkin scone with cranberries. Sounds good. Dried cranberries and pumpkin that we grew. Yep. Good stuff. Melanie makes everything herself, and I like it. So how bad is the noise in here? Very bad. Very bad? It's just like I'm... Um, Everything's shaking? Yeah, I'm scared to fall down. I hope nothing falls down. Yeah, I might consider pulling those teapots down, especially when I get up higher. Yeah, when it's higher. You yeah. Can All right. Well, I'll get back to it. Yeah. <laughs> The freezer has been running all day and we have 14.3 volts and 181 watts coming in. And the Renogy has 13.6 amps, so about 400 watts coming in, give or take. Uh, decent, decent amount of power coming into the tiny house on wheels today. Hey everybody, well, that's the end of the day. We're cleaning up now. Uh, that's a day of work, everybody with setting up, processing, measuring, chalk lining, nailing, positioning. That's a, that's a day of work. But I think it looks beautiful. This is going to be a really amazing house, I think. I thought I would get up to the top of the window and around in between the window and the porch today, but it's just um, now I'm, I'm up on a ladder. It, uh, it makes a huge difference. Uh, and the, the going is slower up there on a ladder. But, I like it. Well everybody, another day is done. Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Talk to you later. Hi everybody, Troy and Melanie. Where are we from? <laughs> the do-it-yourself world. And the off-grid project. She's getting better and better every day. Mm -hmm. We got some packages here in the mail. Uh, actually they say Troy Reed. So, we will open them. Do you want the big one or the little one? I'll let you have one. Mm, the little one. You want the little one? Why do you want the little one? All right, there's a big package here and a little package. Let me put this aside, Melanie. I think this is 
the one choice. Oh, what do we got here, Melanie? You chose the right package. Yes. This is actually it's going to be for Melanie. Is this the one, the action camera? This is an action camera for Melanie. And um, the company, the well, I'll mention the company down below in all the details who's sending this. They have sent us a 4K sports action camera, which is going to be Melanie's new camera from now on for doing video. So, because the other camera fell on its face and broke. <laughs> and uh, so now we have a not so breakable camera for Melanie. So, we'll be doing a review in this uh, in the next days and weeks. And we'll get back to you and let you know what it's like. This is a uh, 4K Wi Fi action camera. Let me see, we got 16 megapixels, 30 frames per second, up to 64 gigs uh, memory card, which is impressive, 170 degree angle, and uh, all kinds of accessories in here. So we'll be checking it out. Actually, we'll cover that in a few minutes, but I want to see what's in the other package. So. Now we got the big box here. I think I know what's in here. I lost my finger. So we have here that is it. Yep. We have here a sleeping mat that is taped up very nicely. Let's see if I can get it open without hurting it. This is something Melanie and I need very badly because we're often out hiking and camping. Baby wants the box. She's getting a big box. There we go. So we have here, Melanie, something that's going to make our lives better when we're camping. This is a two-person, self-inflating sleeping room. This is a Hillpow inflatable sleeping mattress, a self-inflating sleeping pad, mouth-blown headrest. So uh, we'll go over all the details on this. In a little bit here. If I can find the straps. Huh? It's two. It's a it's double. I'm gonna look for the opening. I need more light. That pops off. And oh there we go, see? It's big because you open it up and it opens up again. That is very large, people. Very large. Bye, Melanie. <laughs> so, we'll have to do this outside, but uh, it looks like it's going to be definitely large enough for two people. What's that? No more sleeping on the hard, cold ground in the winter. No more uncomfortable, suffering nights. And oh, they are uncomfortable. Yeah, so uh, we will be checking this out, guys, and we'll get back to you in the next uh, days and weeks here on how this performs for us. And we'll actually be going out again next week, and uh, the nights are getting cold, so we'll definitely put this to the use and let you know how well it performs for us. So thank you, guys. Alright everybody, just to uh, cover, we're going to open up this camera, and we're really excited about this, and I want to get Melanie going so she can start recording, 
and doing videos again, which everybody's waiting for. Uh, the company name, by the way, is Hillpow. That's who sent the sleeping mat and the video camera. I want to say thank you guys in advance. So, let's see what all we have here. And as soon as I get this set up, we will turn it over to Melanie, who's currently cooking right now. Looks like we have a mass of accessories. There's a USB wall plug. That's convenient. There is a thumb screw mount for, I'm sure I'm going to find out what for in a minute here. We have here, I'm going to definitely have to look up the uh, in the package because here's a, a case of some kind. Let me see the camera. It's a nice sized, nice looking camera with digital display. Very, very convenient. Uh, some of the cameras don't even have display, so that's a, that's a bonus right there in itself. Um, looks like a really good case. And I'll be checking out the functions here and we'll report everything to you later. Definitely got to check out all the, the things here. So, just curious to show you guys what all accessories come with this. Because uh, with some of the cameras, I won't mention names, but with some cameras you have to buy all your accessories separately. This is a bonus. Here's some straps, some Velcro ties. This is loaded with accessories. Look at this, guys. This is really loaded. Here we got two, uh, it looks like, um, self-stick helmet-type straps. Uh, clamps. Here we got another... It's got screw mounts. Looks like it holds your camera, and you can screw it down. There's your USB charging cable. Um, there's another thumb screw, just like this one, but a little bit bigger. And we got some other screw-on mounts. There's a handlebar type mount with two thumb screws. Seriously, this is loaded. This is really loaded. There's a clip-on mount. That's usually what I like to use on the side of my head. There's a belt clip, uh, alligator tip clip type mount. Here's some, oh cool, look at that, extra self-stick uh, film, a cleaning cloth, zip ties, um, some steel wire, and another screw, thumb screw mount of a different angle. So, looks like a pretty decent accessory kit with this, which is very, very unusual these days that you get a nice set of accessories. And we'll go over all this in fine detail later, but check it out, check it out guys. Hill Pal, and thank you guys for sending us some products, especially for Melanie. Um, get her back going on recording again. Well, that's it, everybody. Troy from the Do It Yourself World and the Off Grid Project. Talk to you later.